Okay. So the next one is, you can see me and let me adjust a little bit. Yes, you can. So what is the next one? The next one is to price out or past tense is priced out. It's the T out there. Price to price out or past tense is priced out. T. So when you are unable to buy or invest due to price increase, the opportunities to invest in the share market were priced out by the unusual rise in the share prices or the unusual rise in the share prices priced out the opportunity to invest right next one is to call in to call in or called in to call in or called in generally used when you want to say that i am calling in sick so a majority of the staff called in sick due to the increase in pandemic cases the majority of the staff called in sick due to the increase in pandemic cases to call in the past tense is called in right okay so you need to understand that vowels and consonants we need to stress on consonants so that the meaning becomes clear okay these were some of the phrases i brought for you and i thought they will help you to understand and throw some light on how we use language in our day-to-day -day life and probably help you to improve right let's see some typical words for vocabulary that will also help you to understand the world of finance. The first word is debt. B is not pronounced here, only D E T. Debt. Now debt is you can be in debt or you can out, you can be out of debt. One meaning, right? Or you can be indebted to somebody. So if you say I'm in debt, that means you have taken a loan and you are supposed to pay it back. I am in debt. If you're taking some loan for somebody, you say, I am in debt. Or I am out of debt. When you pay it off, it becomes out of debt. And if somebody's helped you, you are thankful to him. So you say, I am indebted to you for having extended your courtesy at the right time. I am in, indebted to you. That's right. Next word is interest. Now here, the T is interest the e is not pronounced after t is interest the t e is not pronounced t and r are pronounced as one tr like in trust travel or trick that is the way you pronounce tr so it's interest no e is to pronounce interest is when you pay money to a bank or a financial institution when you have the money you take is called principal and you pay an extra amount on that that is called interest so the interest the bank interest rates have risen in the last few days enormously the bank interest rates have risen in the last few weeks enormously next word is with the draw with the draw withdraw is when you draw money from a bank or say for example of an atm or a bank so your withdrawal withdraw and the past tense is with the drew with the drew i withdrew a lot of cash from the bank today i withdrew a lot of cash from the bank today right next word is atm do you know the full form of atm let me tell you automated teller machine teller is a person who gives money to you or receives money in a bank so this machine is an automated teller it receives money and also gives out money to you automated teller machine atm you can withdraw money from an atm machine or you can deposit money into an atm machine the next word is deposit the po is pronounced as paw paw law or the word the way you put your mouth is you can look at me paw law depot deposit so deposit don't forget to deposit your interest in the bank today don't forget to deposit the interest in your bank today 
Next word is mortgage. What do you mean by mortgage? What is the difference between interest and mortgage? Difference between interest and mortgage is interest you pay on some loan you have taken where you may not have the ownership of that. Right? When the ownership is not involved, you pay interest. But suppose you have taken a house and now you pledge it or mortgage it to a bank. The money which you pay on it, you might have taken some amount of money from the bank by putting the papers of your house to the bank. It's called mortgaging your house to the bank. And the money is extra money you pay over and above the principal amount you take. That's called mortgage. So I had to pay a heavy mortgage when I mod, uh, I have to I had to pay a heavy mortgage in emergency to the bank. I had to pay a heavy mortgage, right? That means the money it is the over and above the principal amount which I take from the bank when I give my house papers. It's called mortgage. Right, so that's the way it is, and <clears throat> I'm sure you are enjoying this. Let's go to two more words: O, O E, O O W E, and O W N. Meaning of O W E is O. I owe you a lot of credit. I owe you a lot of credit for having worked with me as a partner. I credit you that. So I, I owe you. I owe you money or I owe you gratitude or I owe you thanks. Say I owe you owe a lot of gratitude for having worked with me as a partner. And own is when you possess. I own a beautiful red car. I own a beautiful red car. You can always say I owe you a favor. I owe you a favor. O-W-E. Favor. I owe you a favor. Or we can use, there is another way we can use OWE, that's owing to, I got late, I got late to work or I got late to reach my office owing to heavy traffic on the way, owing to heavy traffic on the way. The next word is budget, the last word is budget, B-U-D-G-E-T, now D is silent out here, do not pronounce it, budget. And what do you mean by budget? It could be over my budget, it was over my budget, or it was out of my budget. Purchasing a beautiful dress was out of my budget. Or, or you can say, it was over my budget. So budget may be also to save. Budget also to me, another meaning is to save. We budgeted. We budgeted for our upcoming vacation. We budgeted for our upcoming vacation. Wow. And I'm leaving you with one sentence now, which is on budget. Do you have, do you want to enjoy the champagne taste on a beer budget? Do you want to enjoy, do you want to enjoy champagne taste on a budget, on a beer budget? What does that mean? Suppose you want to own a Ferrari, note the pronunciation, Ferrari and you have a Honda. So you may think that your Honda is a Ferrari. You can write my Ferrari in red letters on your car and you say I am enjoying a Ferrari but you actually own a Honda. So we say that having a champagne taste on a beer budget. I hope you like that and I am always wanting, I am always feeling, you should progress gradually, continuously, quickly in your career, develop good relationships and have a wonderful life. This is what my feeling about my viewers is, let's work together on this and give me the support, give me the feedback. Write in the comment box what kind of topics you want me to cover. English language is our focus, right? Spoken English is a speciality, but we are not restricting to that. Any subject concerning English, please let me know in the comment box and I'll be happy to make a video on that. There are 30 more videos coming. There's a lot of time and a lot of space. So please do let me know. And I'm always wanting that you please 
share these videos with people who would like to benefit from them. These are free of cost videos and it is my mission at, that these videos reach far and wide in our country and even abroad. So you like the way these videos are being made, they are effective, they are doing good to you, they are changing your life then press a button for subscription, subscribe, share, right, like. I always look forward to your support. And now I'm going to say goodbye to you before we meet again. Thank you so much.